The game I'm going to showcase today is a My Hero inspired game called Uprising Tempest. It's currently in the early testing stages so it'll be a while before this game is released. But even in the early stages of development there's a lot to be excited about with this project. I'll leave the discord to Uprising Tempest in the description down below if you guys are interested in following the development of the game. On the surface it has a pretty solid base to shape into a great experience. You have the basic things for a My Hero game like quirks, a school campus, missions, heroes, and villains. The current map we are in is a school campus. Inside the school there's a locker room where you can change into your school uniform by left clicking the lockers. You can also take off the uniform by clicking the lockers again. There's a library which you can use to read books. All you need to do is click the bookshelves to get a random book and it gives you hints to further your skills. The catch to this is you need to find the right book for your quirk and style in order to see what you need to get stronger. There's also a gym on campus that you can use for basic training. The pull up bar is used to boost your defense. You can also run on the treadmill to gain more stamina. Then the bench is obviously for more strength. There's also mats for squatting but he forgot to mention what it's used for. The unique mechanic added to this My Hero game is definitely the combat. Instead of having one set fighting style for everyone, there are currently 6 different styles of combat you can choose from. Like other fighting games, you'll need to meet the trainer's requirements to unlock these styles. Each fighting style also has its advantages and disadvantages. It all really depends on how you want to fight. The only thing that is exclusive to villains is the street fighting style, because you need to have committed crimes to unlock it. If you're caught using that fighting style, you'll basically be arrested by the police. There are also currently 14 quirks planned, and 12 are currently completed, but we can talk about the different quirks in another video. There is also a parry mechanic that you can use mid combo to prevent yourself from getting infinite comboed. The owner and I ended up having a one on one showdown so I can get a feel for the combat. At first I'm not gonna lie I wasn't doing too good with my setup because I didn't really take the time to rearrange my skills. I also didn't really know what most of my skills did either, so I pretty much had to learn as the fight went on. One thing I did notice though is I was getting hit but my HP was dropping slower than I expected. He did boost me to higher stats for the fight, so I don't know if he accidentally made me stronger than him. As the fight went on I started getting more comfortable with the combat and a better feel for my skills. After the beginning of the fight I didn't really get hit that much either. The fight ended with my quirk's strongest skill which ended up putting him down for good. After our 1v1 he showed me a special quirk that the main villain in the game will have. It's inspired by one for all, so as you can guess the main villain will be able to steal a quirk and also give it to someone else after stealing it. It's still a work in progress since currently you can only have two quirks at a time. I'm pretty sure whoever is the main villain for lore will have access to holding more than two quirks. That's it for this video so if you guys enjoyed it and hyped to see how this game will develop, don't forget to smash that like button. Also, don't forget that I'll leave the Uprising Tempest Discord in the description down below. You can also comment down below any questions or things you would like to see in this game. Most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. It'll inform you guys when I drop videos like these so you can be the first ones to see them. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.